Hi, this video lecture we are going to see about mobile information architecture. Mobile information architecture is all about simplification and elimination of redundant data, grouping the content and placing the data by context. So this mobile information architecture will help you to find the information easily so that you can complete the task effectively. Also, this mobile information architecture would help you in navigation, reading the content, and uh, making some searcher, uh, searches, etc. There are five facets in the mobile information architecture. First phase is information architecture. Second one, interaction design. Third one, information design. Fourth one, navigation design. And the fifth phase is interface design. So the first phase, information architecture, this is nothing but organizing the data within the information space. That is how you are going to get the information about each and every task and how you are going to perform that particular task within the application. Whatever may be the application, uh, the main idea is organizing the data and performing some functions. This is what information architecture is about. Second phase is interaction design. So here you will design how the user will interact with the component involved in the application. So here you have to create a more meaningful experience that is the interaction design in such a way that your goals can be accomplished. So here you have to focus on creating a very meaningful interface. Then third one is information design. This is how you are going to present the information to the user in your home page when you are displaying the information, whatever may be the web application or mobile application you take, how you are going to present the information in the home page so that the user can understand the meaning and he can interact with the components. So the visual layout of the information is... Uh, dealt in the third phase that is information design then fourth phase is navigation design here you are going to create the triggers like, like uh, event handling when you click on the submit button or when you click on the proceed button so you are going to create some triggers and when you name the component the labels what you give for the component it is going to be meaningful so that the user can understand what will be the ne next task when he clicks on the particular button. So the creation of triggers and the naming of the label will help the user to understand what the particular task is, okay? And what would be the output of the particular event. So that is how you have to design the events. That is uh, in the fourth phase, navigation design. Then the fifth phase is interface design. Here we will design the visual paradigms which is used for creating the action. Okay. So these are the five facets of information architecture. And when it comes to the characteristics of information architecture, there are about six main characteristics one is keeping it simple whenever you create an information architecture for mobile application the design should be very simple then you can have sitemaps sitemaps will tell you like where you are going to navigate then click streams then wireframes then prototyping that is the basic uh, model and when it comes to the mobile devices you are going to have different information architecture for different devices. So these are few characteristics of mobile information architecture. So first one, as I told you, it is keeping it simple. You have to use a clear, simple labels so that 
by reading the label the user can easily understand what it is going to perform what function it is going to perform that is the first one then second one sitemap this is like visually representing the relationship between the context you can look at the example here so it is the home page and from home page you have different tabs like about us product and services news and event blog contact us so this is a sample sitemap this is visually representing the relationship between the contents then third one click streams this will show you the behavior on the website how the user is navigating through the tabs in the website so this is click streams here is one example from home page you have different pages available page a say for example about us page b say for example uh, about the products and services or maybe contact us something like this so from the home page you have different pages and this click streams will tell you where the user is clicking and to which page he is navigating this is click streams the next one is wireframes this is the layout of the information on the page how you are presenting the information on the web page this we also say it as information design so uh, the main thing uh, main difference between the wireframe and the sitemap is sitemap will tell you how the content is organized in your application whereas wireframe will tell you how the user is going to interact with it okay this is the main difference between sitemap and the wireframes the next one is prototyping this is this prototyping will help you to capture the design concept and test it okay so this is like uh, an experimental process for implementing the ideas into a tangible form say, say maybe using uh, a paper format or maybe a digital format you are going to implement the ideas that is only prototyping and the last one as i told you each and every mobile devices has its own specifications so you have to use a different mobile information architecture for different de devices so this is about uh, the uh, five different phases of mobile information architecture and the six characteristics of mobile information architecture